In this video, I'm going to show you one of the most versatile passing concepts in Madden 23. You're going to show you how to beat man coverage, zone coverage, um, as well as some adjustments that your opponent might make to kind of slow this play down. Uh, we're going to give you kind of the adjustment to the adjustment. So uh, without further ado, we're going to jump into this. This is out of the tight offset tight end formation. If you would like to get my full tight offset tight end offensive ebook out of the Saints playbook, um, you can get that by joining our Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and it gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates uh, to those ebooks uh, that we will release and any new ebooks that we release. So if you want to get access to all of that, Got about 17 offensive and defensive ebooks available in the Patreon uh, with more on the way. I would really encourage you uh, to join it. The link is in the description if you want to check it out. All right, guys, so we're going to be taking a look at the play bench out of tight offset tight end. And we're going to be giving you a little bit of a different setup today that I actually really like. Um, kind of give you uh, really two setups. Uh, the first one's going to require a little bit more adjustments. And the last one, we're actually going to snap it really quickly. So um, what we're going to do here is kind of your standard bench setup. Um, we're going to streak this outside receiver. We're going to drag this right side receiver, block our running back. And then you can either leave this um, tight end on his corner if you think it's man-to-man. -man. If you think it's zone, I would recommend putting him on a streak or a curl route. Okay, so you can kind of adapt this a little bit as you want to. Now, notice that the ball is on the left side of the the, the left hash mark, right? We want to run this, um, specifically this left side corner out to Watson. We want to run that to the short side um, of the field. And the reason is because it's going to give us uh, much better separation against zone coverage. You're going to see here, we're not going to have to worry about the cover four. We're not going to have to worry about the cover three. We're not going to have to worry about the cover two. It really doesn't matter what zone they call, whatever. And I've, I've done a lot of videos on this uh, on the channel, just this concept um, of short side floods. Short side floods are really good. Um, here's a baseline press cover four, and you'll notice that even that normally isn't going to react to that very well. Short side floods are very powerful in this year's game. Um, and I think when you combine that with some wide side high balls, um, this can be really, really powerful. So you see here, you know, we can always try to one on one ag uh, down the field. Now, another thing is that I want to point out here is let's say that their user, um, you know, says, well, you know, I'm not going to let you just throw a corner out. I'm going to go user it, right? So this is going to imitate that user. This is why we want to streak the tight end because now we have double seams on both sides. So instantly we can just highball this in the seam if we get a look like that. So that's why this is so good against zone coverage. Now, um, let me show you this against man-to-man. -man. Uh, so the same basic setup. We're going to show this to you against man coverage. Um, this corner route to Watson is really the number one route on the play for man-to-man. -man. Um, you're just going to throw this outside as soon as he cuts, as you can see right there. If you put short and elite on that player, um, he's going to be even more consistent for you. Um, you know, but for the most part, this is a fairly consistent uh, route uh, that we have. Now, I want to show you this right side corner route uh, to the tight end. Because uh, I said, if you think it's man coverage, you might want to leave this corner route. Um, it's okay. It's just not as good. Um, this corner route, in my opinion, is not as good uh, at beating man as consistently as the left side corner route. So that's why, you know, if we could get, if we could get a one-on-one, -on -one, though... Um, if we could get a one-on-one -on -one up the seam because they're having to overcommit to stop these corner routes, then what you can do is you can just high ball and you're just going to hit triangle. Um, and when you, you're you just going to basically high ball it up the seam uh, if you get a one-on-one. -on -one. This is a great way to attack any kind of cover zero meta, um, you know, any kind of blitzing meta. As soon as that DB turns his hips, we're going to high ball that up the seam. And as you can see, we're just going to ag them you know, with this, with this route. Now, again, I want to give you a couple of different options in case you aren't, aren't someone that wants to ag. Uh, what you can do is you can also put this tight end on a quick out. Um, I think this quick out to the tight end is actually much more effective at beating man than the corner. You'll see here, just a little quick out, break a tackle and potentially be off to the races. So some simple little ways uh, that we can attack man to man. Another way that we can attack man-to-man, -man, again, if we're really anticipating that it's going to be a man coverage call, is we can have a motion slant that we're going to motion out. So you'll see here, as soon as this guy comes underneath, now we have that ability to get that open. So as you can see, there, there's a lot of things we can kind of do with this play uh, to make it a little bit better against man-to-man -man specific 
uh, coverage. You know, one of the other, last things I want to point out is you instead of dragging this player, you can also put him on a little uh, little slant. Uh, and if you motion him one step in the inside, or I'm sorry, um, if you if you don't motion one step the inside, if you just leave him there, um, he'll be able to be a pretty decent little beater for you. Uh, from that perspective, you know, again, I think you know have a little quick out with it, pair that with it, and then you'll see that this little slant um, is going to come underneath. And a lot of times, once it gets across the formation, it's going to get open. But those are some little ways uh, to attack man to man out of the play bench. But now what I want to do is I want to show you something else I think is really interesting. We're going to just simply streak our running back and snap the ball. Now, um, what I like to do with this play specifically is I want my running back to be on the left. So I'm just going to float him, right? Or I could flip the play if I wanted to, right? Um, but I want you to watch this. So when we streak this tight end, especially when we run this, this, this running back is going to get open up the middle of the field. And a lot of times they're going to have to go user uh, the running back on this play. And then we can kind of run bench just like standard, right? Kind of standard bench, just the two quick outs um, that are really effective. This is more of a man-beating setup uh, and also more of a blitz-beating setup as well. Um, because most people, what they want to do is they want to user the guy that is guarding the running back. And I just think this is a sneaky way, um, you know, to kind of get, like, let's say this is the guy um, that they're using and they want to go stop this corner right over here. So they may, they may not anticipate the back coming out of the backfield and you just have that little seam route wide open and now you're in the open field able to make plays. Now, another thing I want to show you is cover four. Cover four, from my experience, is going to do a decent job at defending this corner right to the left. However, cover two, and, and also I think cover three to agree, a degree, you're going to see he's going to, actually he did play it okay, um, he's going to play it all right in cover three, but in cover two, uh, you'll see here that this is going to be a little bit more open. So um, if it's cover two, really either one of these corners should be there for you. Uh, the main coverages you want to watch out for are cover three and cover four, which we showed you how to beat you know, with this setup. Right, so you could just do this right here. Um, you could literally just come out, streak this receiver, and just snap the ball. And you know, what I want to get through to you guys is that I think quick snapping bench um, in whatever different vari variation you want to do that in uh, is very valuable. So you can put the running back on a quick in route. Um, another thing I really like to do, and I think I did a video on this, um, we're gonna put the running back on a wheel and then we're just going to motion this motion block this guy. And what you'll see is this corner right on the right, because we're running this to the wide side, this corner right on the right will be wide open. So those are just some little things that you can do, I think, just to kind of, again, make bench what it is, which is one of the best plays in the game. If you want to learn my entire New Orleans Saints offensive ebook, I'd really encourage you to join our Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member. We go into depth on some of these route concepts and route combos uh, to be able to attack match, man coverage, zone coverage, the blitz. Uh, actually, this formation has some of the best runs in the game as well. So if you want to get access to that entire uh, ebook, make sure you join our Patreon. Patreon members get access to all ebooks and all updates. So if you want to sign up for just 10 bucks, head down to the description below and click the link down below.